Northwest Territories. The town that I grew up in, the town that I call home, it is such a special place. Hay River is also known as the hub of the north. There's about 3,700 people who live here. It is built on the shores of the Hay River and that is how it gets its name. So you can see that beautiful river behind me and it is so super lush and green right now. Let me show you what Hay River Northwest Territories has to offer. First things first, and I'm off with my parents to the river to collect some river water to water the potatoes in the garden. This right here on the left is the Fisherman's Wharf. Every Saturday in town, there's food vendors and artisans that set up their booths and come out here and everyone comes out and just has a great time. And I'm used to calling it a quad. What do you call it? An 18 year quad? Quad. Quad? Okay. Where we live on Vale Island, everyone's houses has water tanks attached to them, so water actually gets delivered. So in order to save on water at home, it makes so much more sense to come get river water to water your garden. True northern style. A little quad with a little water tank. Like, that's so cute. It's ridiculous. It's a water tank and I think it's cute, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there he is watering the potatoes from the river water we got in our little water tank. Yum. Oh, sorry. Oh, mom's getting a shower. <laughs> this is so funny. They are so excited to have some apple. Do you guys love apples? Do you guys love apples? Do you want that? Do you want that? Sit. All of you sit. Oh yeah, you guys are sitting. Good job. Okay, sit. Good girl. <laughs> Is that good? Good girl. <laughs> that just makes me laugh so much. You guys love apples. The drive downtown is so nice, but me and my friend decided it's a good idea to take you guys downtown and show you a little bit of the local cuisine. There's not a lot of dining options in Hay River. I mean, there's a few for a small town, but there's really not a lot. So sometimes it can be hard to decide where to go, but there's one place in town that has a patio. So we decided to come and enjoy the sunshine, me and my friend Kyla, just because it's such a beautiful summer day. So we came to the Doghouse Sports Pub and yeah, it's so nice to see out here. The only thing about this patio though is that this is pretty low, so you can see the parking lot. I think if they had put like some sort of divider higher and then you weren't looking at the parking lot, that would have made it so nice. This pub has been here for so, so long. It's been like a staple of town and it's only had a patio for a few years now. So this right here is called the Bankers, what's it called? Thank you, special. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I just had a mental block. So this right here is called the Banker's Special. I ate this as a teenager when we'd come out for lunch. It's been on the menu forever. Um, it's a lot more expensive now than it was as a teenager, but life up north is pretty expensive. So for this meal right here, it's about $20. And Kyla got a curry poutine. Yes, curry poutine. Curry poutine. How much is that one? Uh, it was 1910. So yeah, like $20. Yeah. I think yeah, this was also 1910, so they're both 1910 yeah. with tax 20 bucks each. So 20 bucks for a poutine, 20 bucks for three chicken fingers, piece of toast and Caesar salad. That's what you pay up north though. Your typical prices in the north. That looks like one of the most boring meals. She's talking about my meal. She's saying it looks boring. <laughs> It does. And you know, the only reason I ordered this one was to bring back the teenager memories, really. But that's it. Chicken fingers, <laughs> bread, and salad. After lunch, we decided the next best thing we could do is come to the local coffee shop and grab a latte. I actually do enjoy this little coffee shop. It's cozy, they have a pretty decent little menu, lots of fresh snacks for you, and of course, pretty good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very cool addition for some decor. They even have a little community announcement wall in the cafe, in case you wanna know what's going on. Jamboree. Oh, oh, the Gateway Jamboree, which just missed it. It was just this past weekend. This is one of the main streets downtown where you'll find an electronics store, a convenience store, there's a clothing store, a stationery store, and also the drugstore, otherwise known as the pharmacy. 
You know, have a seat. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? How nice to see you. Oh, you also got a coffee. Yes. Wow, cheers. Yeah, it's a great place to run into friends. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I love those last minute, you know, unplanned get togethers. <laughs> here you guys go. Back 80 Lounge and Restaurant. I worked at that restaurant for like over 10 years. A thing of the past for me. Okay, well right here's the post office. Oh, oh, she just fell off the sidewalk. You okay there? She just fell. <laughs> I didn't see the side coming. <laughs> this is rush hour. Oh yeah, this is rush hour in downtown Hay River. You can see everyone's rushing through. Just rushing through the lights there. <laughs> Oh yeah, and over here is the arena. So inside there is a swimming pool, ice rink in the winter. What else? Um, there's a fitness center, there's a curling club. Oh, this is called Godwin's Mall, where we're walking past right now. And then over there, okay. Over there you'll see Royal Bank, one of the two banks in town. See, ABC was the other one. Over there across the street is the library. So there is one library in town. I actually love our library. Love our library. Yeah, our library is the best. It's very cute. This is the fire hall and right in front here, the statue is an Anukshuk. This right here is Diamond Jeunesse Secondary School. This was my high school and junior high school because it was grade seven to 12. I don't think it's seven to 12 now. I think they changed that. But in my day it was seven to 12 and this high school was in the Guinness Book of World Records because it was the only purple school in the world and it has no corners on it, so every corner is rounded. It is the only high rise in town. As you can see, it goes all the way up. It's a super old building. Right now it's nothing. No one lives in it because there was a fire in it a few years ago. So because it was already deteriorating, the building before the fire, after the fire, it just is not livable. But I did read an article that there's a company that have now bought it and they're gonna put a bunch of money into restoring it and creating it into livable apartments for people again which is super important in this town because you know it is so difficult to find housing in the north and in this town as well yeah so that is our downtown just outside of town like about almost 40 kilometers we have three different waterfalls i absolutely love coming to the falls because it's just so beautiful and the nature smells so good here. I just, yeah, I love the waterfalls. I love coming out here. There's picnic tables and everything, but we're now at Alexandra Falls, the first of the three waterfalls, and we're just gonna go for a little walk down there, check it out. It is, yeah, a stunning place. It is just off the highway, so it's not even like you have to go far to be able to see these waterfalls. You can walk to the waterfalls to each one. So from here, there's a path that goes all the way to the next waterfall, which is Louise Falls. Um, and it's about two kilometers. I'm not walking it today, but it's a beautiful walk. Some people come and cycle it. Um, I'm just driving between them today. But yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be so nice. I can hear the water flowing and you know, you can already feel that power that waterfalls give off. Oh, it's so green and so lush right now. It's hard to even believe that like in four or five weeks it's gonna be fall because the seasons just change so quickly here. Obviously winter is the longest season in the north, but yeah, spring, summer, fall, they just come and go so fast. So I'm enjoying the green, that is for sure. There's a little peekaboo of the waterfalls and they look nice even from this angle. This little building right here is the perfect spot to have a get together, a barbecue. I think there's people who got married out here before, so great planning spot. So my adventure buddy today to the waterfalls is my mom. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's such a perfect day to come out here. It is, it's absolutely Isn't it? stunning. I mean, and uh, it's really refreshing because the weather today is like plus 26. Yeah like real summer weather. It was raining yesterday, so it's nice that the sun's come out. It is so beautiful here. This is true northern nature, and I just love it so much. Look at that, guys. Isn't that 
just so beautiful. You're not gonna believe it, but just last week, a dog actually fell over the waterfalls and survived and then was stuck down there for a few days before being rescued. But the dog was rescued, the dog was alive and fine actually, surprisingly enough, because the dog did fall into this raging water. It's like 180 foot drop. 180 feet? Yeah. So 180 foot drop into this raging waterfall and the dog survived. Why the dog was on the edge or, or anything like that without owners, I don't understand. But I'm just happy that this dog survived and that's just not something that happens here ever. This no is, bugs today either. Yes, actually, because typically there's tons of bugs, eh? It's just clouds of them, but they're gone. Yeah. This is not normal for the night. No, I expected to be swarmed by bugs. And yeah. I even brought my bug film. Ah, good job, yay! Don't leave home without it, not when you're in the north. <laughs> Look at this. How beautiful is this, guys? Right beside the falls now. Wow. This is incredible. It never gets old. It's just one of those timeless things that's just always beautiful no matter what. We're not actually gonna take the path that we took down back up because there's some stairs over here. Uh, and it's just so beautiful to walk along the rocky riverbanks. It's just, yeah, I'm digging it. That sun is so beautiful, that sky is so blue today. Oh, the memories here. You've been coming here since a baby. That's so true. Remember Grandpa and Grandma bringing you here too? That's so true. My Grandpa and Grandma used to always bring me here because we actually like, they lived at Paradise Gardens and I loved staying with them. So I was out in nature, just loving life out there. And because Paradise Gardens is so close to the waterfalls, we would come out here all the time. And remember, we'd always do the hike between the waterfalls, hey? Okay? Yeah, we love that hike. Yeah. Lots of berries in there. Oh, tons. The hike is uh, it's so great, but we're, we'll definitely do it in the fall. It's definitely nostalgic, like childhood family memories out here. Yeah, so good. And a day without bugs. Yeah, and no bugs. So amazing. Still can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just can't get over the no bug thing. Here is Louise Falls and there is also a campground here which is so beautiful. This is something to be mindful of because there's a bear in the area with three cubs. Alright, here we are, Louise Falls and in case you guys are wondering, it's actually this trail in front of us. That's going to take you all the way back to Alexandra Falls so if you are hiking between the waterfalls, you just follow the trail. Check them out. You're a lot further away from these ones, but there are ways if you walk further down that you can actually go down beside them too, but we're not doing that today. If you guys look way down there, you see there's people down there and they are fishing on the sides of the river at the base of Louise Falls. It is pretty easy to climb down there. I don't have time for that today, but it's pretty awesome. The climb down there is actually, yeah, quite fun. But you're right here, right at the base of the falls. You just go straight down in there. There's people already there, and then you're already down there. Super easy. That's pretty cool, hey? There's the stairs to take you down beside the falls. all the way 
way down there. And then you have to climb down. Once you go down the stairs, then you kind of have to like go down and then climb a little bit over there. Hugging a tree. Oh, it feels good. Like if you haven't hugged a tree before, you need to hug a tree. It's a big tree. So this is the road to the Old Town or otherwise known as Vail Island. Over there you'll see there's the airport. And this is so beautiful to come cycling. There's a bike path right there to the right and there's the river over there. There is the Hay River Museum Society Heritage Center. So Hay River does have a little museum. This building right here, it used to be the building and it wasn't in this location, but it used to be the building for a very famous bar called The Zoo. And I actually worked at The Zoo when I was like 19, so many years ago, but they've preserved that now. It is like part of the heritage site. This building is the actual museum itself. So there's loads of cool historical things in there and artifacts. This is the Hay River Beach, right on the shores of the Great Slave Lake. Oh, if you see it out there, that's Seagull Island. But the beach is a super popular destination. Um, in the summertime, nice weather. You know, there's bonfires all down the beach. People having picnics, swimming. Yeah, it's just a big part of the town and what makes Hay River so special. I love the beach. Always good times here. A little taste of my beautiful northern town. I love it here so much. It's just so magical in so many ways and you know the nature, the beauty, the lake, just everything. I love the north. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.